Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Let's get another message to see what it is that y'all need to hear at the moment. As always, take what resonates and discard the motherfucker rest. So, let's get it. Let's see what's going on, you guys. What's the mother dearest message today? What's going on? There's a breakthrough. Ooh, double your Uranus energy. <laughs> I'm working on it. And then we have the first house. This is a breakthrough, a level of detachment coming when it comes to your outlook. Okay, the first house, the house of self, your outlook, maybe you're changing, maybe something is like glow up, maybe physical glow up, changing your style, okay, in some sort of way. Let's see, I don't know, let's see, let's get into it, let's see what's going on. Definitely a breakthrough, it's giving breakthrough vibes, Aquarius and Uranus energy with the, with the, First house, this is a breakthrough within the self. You're having some sort of breakthrough. So congratulations. This is fantastic energy. I like to see it. Maybe this is even more self-love, okay? We have Moldavite here. I knew a crystal was going to come out. We have Moldavite. So definitely a transformation. Um, your whole life could be changing, okay? We have the heart space too and the key. Wow, and the plane? Are you guys traveling somewhere? You're free, no obligations. The Moldavite is giving like no obligations. I can go wherever I want, move wherever I want, do whatever I want. That type of thing. We also have the key and the angelic little wing here. So this is angelic. This is like um, divine intervention happening in your life where everything is changing. Nothing is going to be the same. Um, you're getting flown to new heights or you're taking, I don't know, there's something here with travel. Sagittarius energy is coming through. Wheel of Fortune type vibes, okay? Uranus here, star card energy, star card and the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, it's giving. It's giving like you about to watch and look at me take off. I might have been slow with this turtle energy. Something might have like turned or gone very slowly. This is so that it could be done properly, okay? There could have been slow, slow changes, like slowly things are starting to change, 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 and then all of a sudden all of these like slow changes came and burst through your life and it looks like everything is changing all at once, but really it was a slow, slow change, slow change. Maybe it started with your mental and then it started with the emotional. Now it's showing up in your reality and everything is changing, okay? This is divine intervention here. Um, your heart is too pure. Your light is too nice to have it locked away so that no one can see it with this this little heart. It's almost giving like a caged heart. I'm not going to lie. Don't worry about my hand position. You know, okay, whatever. <laughs> it's giving caged heart vibes. And then we have the key. So your love is meant to be shared. You are meant to be shared. You're meant to be seen. Okay. You're also meant to cause some sort of changes in people's lives. Okay. With Moldavite. I mean... It's not an easy energy to go through, especially with all this Ur Uranus energy. And then we have Pluto right, right at the bottom. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a very lucky and faded change that's happening in your life where nothing is going to be the same or look the same, including you. This is a break. This is an internal breakthrough. Okay. I like to see it. So what's going on? Ninth house energy, Sagittarius. This is like foreign travel, things like that. What's going on? We have the 10th house and we have the ascendant. So there's your first, well, it's not first house, but tech, I mean, technically I mean, it is, all right? You could have your ascendant in Capricorn. We have double Capricorn here with Capricorn and the 10th house. Okay, you could have um, your MC Capricorn. Don't have to. Uh, Uranus could have Capricorn in it. Doesn't have to. You could have Capricorn rising as well. Um, or you could have Capricorn sun, Aquarius sun. This is giving Saturn ruled type energy. Okay, that's why we have the turtle. Something was very slow moving. Saturn is the gov like he's the daddy of time. Okay, time. <laughs> when it comes to the, to Saturn, time is not of the essence. <laughs> okay, it's not. So, you know, we have double Capricorn energy. We have double Aquarius energy. I mean, it's it's given like karmic retribution. Things are about to change for the better. Um, the outlook though here, your first house, like. 
mission statement expression your effect your role is changing uh your mark that you're leaving on the world is also changing okay your point of view has changed this is giving like a perspective switch but it's giving like you're seeing yourself differently you're seeing yourself stronger more disciplined more capable dedicated focused um, career, maybe you guys could be focused on your career at the moment, okay, unlocking new advancements in career, unlocking new money paths, especially with this key, it is giving like key and lock, so you hold wisdom, you hold ancient wisdom, okay, you're unlocking something, you see the, you see the lock here, okay, right there, right, we have the key, fits right into that hole, you know what I'm saying, so you're unlocking something, okay, Definitely. You're unlocking some sort of body image aura, maybe a new, like your, uh, your aura is expanding. Okay. Your attitude, you're unlocking new attitudes. Okay. New, new attitude. Who dis? It's like new phone. Who dis? One. Okay. We have mercury. So communication thoughts, analysis, information, trading ideas, smarts, reporting, Vision and lens. Yeah, your vision, the way you see yourself is different. Your narrative is different. Okay, Aries energy, first house. Okay, so you guys could have like uh, Mercury Aries or Mercury or I mean, um, Aries rising. You don't have to. These are just extra confirmations. Okay, could you don't have to. Um, Virgo is also there with Mercury, Gemini. Okay, um, but yeah, you're starting something here. You're, you know what, you're sick and tired of some shit, so you're sick and tired of some shit, and you are recognizing that you hold the key of your perception and what you decide to see the world as, and you're unlocking a new perspective, or pers perspection? <laughs> perception. You're unlocking new versions of yourself. Okay? You're soaring to new heights. Things are changing. This is very, and this is like, very divinely guided, this change. It's not even one change. It's like everything is changing. Okay. What's this Capricorn energy with the 10th house? Reputation, career, focus, driven, page of swords. This is the energy you're learning to get into. You might have um, Capricorn North Node. You're learning how to get into this energy. Slow moving with the snail and the chariot. Okay. Cancerian energy is coming through. Page of swords giving Mercury energy. You're learning how to become this Capricorn independent type energy. Okay. You're, you're very observant, you're very wise, you learn a lot, okay? You're disciplined, competent, traditional, wise, structured, okay? Really focused, independence is here too, like you're just, you're very driven at the moment. Okay, so Capricorn North Node you could have, uh, so that's Cancerian South Node, all right, you're you're coming out of this energy. You're you're go, you're stepping into your cat like this Capricorn energy, this very independent and disciplined, structured individual. It's very like to the point. Okay. Um. So yeah. Mm hmm. This is part of your purpose here. That's why it's giving Capricorn North Node. You don't have to, but or you can have North Node in the tenth. I don't know. Your I I don't know what's going on there. Can you have that? I don't know. <laughs> ascendant. What's going on with the Ascendant here? The Tower. Okay, so something's changing. What did I say? Moldavite. <laughs> Here's the Wheel of Fortune. There's that Sagittarius energy. Okay? It's changing. T tower is divinely guided change. Moldavite. Shit is crumbling. Everywhere you look, it's just shit is flying around. Okay? And you're like, whoa. Let me just step into this Capricorn big daddy energy, <laughs> okay? Because, I don't know, maybe you're taking control of a situation or you're observing something, okay? You're learning something. This could even be like that Mercury energy where you're learning. There's information, analysis, information, okay? But your outlook is changing. Something or something needs to change here. It's tower. Your attitudes, like, you're, it's a shock. This is Uranus, like, Uranus. Uranus energy, too, kind of, okay? I know it's Scorpio, but, bro, whatever. <laughs> it's giving Uranus, okay? So, sudden insights, even, too. What's on the bottom? The Wheel of Fortune. This is good luck and fortune. Shit, like, things are changing for the better. 
Okay, this tower energy, though. I mean, we're going to get into it later. I mean, tower can be, you know, a little bit, you know. You know? Or first impressions. You're giving, like, people are shocked. <laughs> With the chariot, or maybe people are shocked that you're like you're pushing through, you're pushing past something, or you took you took charge of something with this Capricorn energy. You bossed up in some sort of way, and people are kind of like, I don't know, because it's giving first impressions too. Okay, people are studying you, trying to figure you out with this Capricorn. Like, what makes you you? Why are you on top? Like, what are you doing? People may want to like research you, or just like get get more info on you, spy on you. Okay, it's giving gang stalking. But what's this Mercury energy? Because this Mercury energy is like uh, over here with this. So what is this? Oh, the Knight of Cups. Okay, so we're see. Oh, there's the devil. Ooh, she a devil. She a bad little bitch. She a rebel. So, ooh. <laughs> All right, I don't know about that song. But here we go. Knight of Cups and the devil. What is this now? Emotional manipulation. Thoughts analysis. You're looking at something differently here. Mercury, okay? Knight of Cups is someone who's loving, moves, moves like with emotion here. But this could be moving with obsession emotion or like, this is Capricorn energy though, bro. Okay, so thanks. Bro, <laughs> it's Capricorn energy. Okay, so the devil's not really the devil. Ooh, she a devil. She a bad little bitch. She a rebel. So... Capricorn energy, and I just said that this Mercury energy is over here with Capricorn. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So thinking sweetly. Okay, I don't know. Knight of Cups is like offers of love, too. It's like, you know, come in this like suave. It's charming. Okay, people are observing something. This Capricorn energy could be hardworking individual. You know what I mean? The, cap the devil don't always got to be, you know, bad, but... It's given like career oriented, hardworking, obsessed with work, obsessed with getting it right, doing it right. You know, Capricorns, I mean, they like to be the CEOs of things, okay? They like to learn. They like to be the CA, CA, CEO. They like to be the boss. They like to have their shit in a row, okay? Uh, so, Knight of Cups, I mean, this is following your love. This She's sitting on top of a lotus flower, which grows through the mud, right? Through the mud and the muck. Maybe you're learning something here, how to step into your Capricorn energy through this tower outlook, this, you know, mission statement expression, your effect, the role that you have on other people. It's tower energy. It's Moldavite. <laughs> it's change maker. Okay. So I, you know, people might be seeing this and they're like, what? But we have Uranus with Aquarius. So that's like. I don't know, are you suddenly detaching from shit and like really stepping into this independent type energy with Capricorn or have you like really, and people, this is shocking people. People are like, damn, <laughs> could this go be it? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you could be really making some changes and it's got people like, hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some sauce up in it. <laughs> let's see what's going on, man. I don't know. Let's see. What is happening here, bro? What do we got? 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 You guys, I added. Look, trying to rush the process. Okay, so see, what did I say about slow ass moving? Something was slow moving. You could have tried to rush something or like, oh, let's get this done. But it's creating a little bit more chaos than it is, you know, chillness. Okay, so you could be like, yo, I just want to get this done, you know, healing and da 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 da. Then you get mad at yourself because you're not healing fast enough. And it's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to rush the process. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I was going slow down. All right. Slow down. Your, your outlook needs to change here. Okay. Maybe we need to see something different. All right. Your effect or the role or something, you know. I mean, see something less, a little bit toxic, structured, you know, discipline structured, you know, in a box. Okay. It's given Saturn. All right. Maybe, I, maybe you... Thought you had to be a certain way in order to heal, you know, I don't know, we're gonna see. Okay, look at this. You're full of soul. Yeah, the good, the bad, the ugly, I don't know. It all, everything in between, you're just full of soul. You're full of life. All right? People are here for it. Can't compete where you don't compare. I mean, I said what I said. No, you can't compete where you don't compare. They can try all they want, but you, you, you know, you're in your own element here. You're in, you're a fucking, what do they call it? You're in a category all on your own. The category of the viewer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Maybe this is why you're trying to rush the process. Yeah, confirmation. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Confirmation. Hey. Hey. Go viewer. Go viewer. Go viewer. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Curvy, baby. Curvy. Ooh, I'm getting chills. Let's see. Yeah, people, look at people think you have a nice ass. Look at this. Look at this curvy ass. You be looking real good. You have creative abilities to get out of unwanted situations. Yeah, you do. Look. See, you be looking real good. Maybe that's why people got shocked. Ha, <laughs> what the? No. People are shocked. You see the viewer? Damn. They've been, they've been pulling the, like, the, what is that, the stalker in horse racing when they come up behind the, they're a stalker. They come up from behind the crowd. No one, they're like a sleeper horse, okay? They come up from the back and they stalk all the way up to win the race out of nowhere. This is what you do when, man, you a stalker, but not like a really bad stalker, you know what I'm saying? Just like a, you're chilling, okay? You like to stalk. And then you pass everybody when they ain't looking, you know what I'm saying? You detach and pass, and people are like, what in the... What's going on here? Yeah, your assets. You could be really having a glow up. You're unlocking things, traveling. You know, this is giving first cat class flights to Dubai. So I'm manifesting. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what's going on. Trying to rush the process. What are we doing here? What are we trying to rush? Okay. What's, what's this trying to rush the... Pro oh, God. What is this? Is that justice? Okay, so you can't you can't rush justice, man. It's a slow and steady race. Fair judgment. Okay, and then we have the four of wands. Oh, so we could be trying to rush like a soul connection or a mate or something like this. People think you you look good though. You got you got a nice bum and you're curvy here. So you're packing everywhere where you should be packing. Okay, don't try and rush the process. If you out there trying to look for a soulmate or you know just a partner in whatever way to share your life with, to share happiness, okay? Just don't try and rush the process. Get to know people, okay? There, you, you are attracting, like, you're shocking a lot of people, okay? You look good. You got your own shit together. It's giving, it's giving cappy energy. I'm sorry. But you got your shit together. It's attractive when you got your shit together. You know how many people out here don't got their shit together? Damn! Damn! You know what I'm saying? I mean, no offense to anybody who doesn't have their shit together, because, like, let me just tell you, we've all been there. But, like, we're talking, like, people that really don't got their shit together. It's okay, like, everybody takes time to get your shit together. Trust me, I know that. I know that all too fucking well. So I'm going to be staying humble about this. But, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, what's this? You're full of soul. So justice is coming for you. You can't rush the process. This could even be your glow up, you know what I'm saying? All right, this could be your glow up. This could be, you know, you wanting your justice, you wanting your, you know, all the shit that you had to go through. This Capricorn energy, it's giving Saturn. I'm just, it is slow and steady. Can't rush this shit. Universe got to do it nice. You know what I'm saying? You're full of soul. Oh, the fool card. I like to see it. Aries energy here. Fearless beginnings. You ain't, you ain't afraid. You ain't afraid and you're full of soul and you're, you got this childlike spirit to you. Okay, you can also start thinking, look at this, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups and the Fool. Like, it would be a fool that you're not a wish fulfillment, really. It would be. This is you getting everything you want, really. You have this childlike innocence to you. The Fool is very naive and childlike and, let's just go on an adventure. I'm down for any adventure. Let's just do it. <laughs> you know, you're very happy-go-lucky. Go with the flow type shit, you know? It is what it is. What can I say? You'll either love me or you hate me. There's no in between. You know what I'm saying? So, can't compete where you don't compare. What's this about? The Eight of Wands. Accelerating quickly. Eight of Wands. I said what I said. That's what. <laughs> That's what Spirit's saying. I said what I said. Here's the Five of Wands. You walk away from this. You can't compete where you don't compare. This is a card all about competition. Okay? Comparative, even. Competition. Drama. There ain't, ain't no competition here. You can't compete where you don't compare. <laughs> all right? Yeah, this could even be with people. You ain't competing for nobody, bro. Nobody. That's why we have this Capricorn energy. Very boss-like, independent, okay? You don't need to fight for no one. You don't need to compete with no one. You're in your own lane. You're doing your own thing. You got your own shit going on. You don't got to worry about all that drama and stuff like that, okay? But you got a lot of people that are quite shocked at what they see. 
Okay, Queen of Wands type energy, Empress, Emperor. I don't know, man. You've gone through a lot of changes, and it is attractive. Don't try and rush the process. You, you came all the way this, you know, don't fall. For, look, this could be Mercury communication with the devil here, too. Like, sweet talkers, okay? Could be sweet talkers trying to sweet, sweet talk you into something because they see that you're the prize. So don't let anybody just sweet talk you. And don't let anybody, like, put you in competition. Like, you, you got to fight for someone's, like, communication or something like that you know you can't know you walk away from that shit because you the wish of you are the wish fulfillment you're full of soul you can't compete where you don't compare because you are a full soul whole soul okay accepting both the light and the dark aspects about yourself you love every little bit of yourself and that's why you can do what you do and you know you can maybe act a little quirky or a little weird or you know what i mean like who gives a shit that's why on my channel, I'll be like, oh, you swear too much, or, or I, I wasn't a dig at you, I love you, but you swear too much, or, you know, you're a little weird, and yeah, yeah okay, well, last time I checked, this is my corner of YouTube, and you're standing in it. <laughs> so there's a whole other platform over there. <laughs> Go see if you can't handle me. Know what I'm saying? We, tr we talk truth up in here, all right? I don't sugarcoat shit, and I ain't gonna sugarcoat shit, Okay. I'm not that type of person to sugarcoat anything. So let's get on with it, okay? I don't know what this Aquarius energy is, though, these detachment. But then we have the Ascendant. Aquarius, sudden change, epiphany, breakthrough. Maybe you had a breakthrough. Okay, it's given breakthrough energy, okay? It is. What's this confirmation, though? That was when I was talking about you can't compete where you don't compare. So, like, <laughs> it ain't even no thing. We have the King of Pentacles that wanted to come... <laughs> confirmation <laughs> what is that that's the sun <laughs> look at this unbridled joy full of soul can't compete where you don't compare don't try and rush the process all right you really do you're you look good you're curvy in all the right places like this is confirmation people are gonna have to step back like your light is just you are doing it you're radiating you might be detaching from the way people see you, first impressions. Like, you don't really care. Like, you, you see me is how you see me. Now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Okay. I'm kind of curious. What is this tower about? Fuck. I, two pentacles. Juggling. King of cups. Okay. So somebody wants to get their priorities straight. Okay. Or if someone needs to get their priorities straight, they could be juggling their emotions here. Okay, I don't know. You get people in their feels. Like, there's a lot of competition for you. There's a lot of juggling. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, wish fulfillment. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Or the Nine of Cups. So, a wish fulfillment for you, Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, you're a boss. Maybe you got your own money. You know what I mean? You got money, honey. Or you look good. You look real good. I'm not going to lie. And you smell good, too. Whatever it is that you got smelly, smelly going on there. Ooh, that's a good combo. It smells fresh, okay? It's given like rainforest vibes. I'm not gonna lie, it smells real good. It smells like when you get into a rainforest right after it rains. You know how fresh that is? That's how this smells. Like you smell freaking good, whoever you are. Mm. You gotta eat it up. But you smell good. So, I mean, whatever this is, this you got people like that are shocked. Like, oh, damn, you got this and that. You're doing this, you're doing that. And when you tell people about, you know, what you got going on, they get a little bit... Let me try and woo them with this Knight of Cups and the Devil. But see, they learn in real quick. Someone's learning real quick here. That you can't just woo the, you know, you just can't. There's a reason why you like this. Okay, what's that Aquarius energy? With the Uranus, Aquarius. The Tower. Okay, the Tower and the Emperor. Strong leader, Three of Cups. So you have an Emperor here going through a Tower moment of detachment they're shocked at something how you look at something or how you look at them they can't really swoo you with this knight of cups devil energy like they are just shocked that i don't know or maybe you shocked the shit out of this emperor and the first impression you gave off was a doozy <laughs> it was real good you shocked someone okay i don't know man you you maybe you went out this weekend did you go out i don't know do you shock someone though someone is like who is that? Let me learn more about you. Like, come here. Come here. But don't try and rush this process, all right? You're going to get your justice. Don't try and rush the process, whatever this is that you may be. I don't know. You got a lot of people coming towards you right now, all right? 
some of you guys could be biking or biking like uh doing marathons like bike marathons and stuff like that or biking in groups okay don't know why it's coming through it could be extra confirmation okay you could meet someone in a bike group all right anyways um i meant bicycles but you could be like ride ride too don't matter i don't know i saw a pack of bikes anyways not important so let's just see people think you have a nice ass what's this and curvy people think you curvy bro they shocked someone shocked Read them like a book, okay? Oh my. Looming burnout. Four of <laughs> four swords in reverse. Holy, are you doing burnouts? What? <laughs> okay, they're crazy. Okay, high priestess. So decisive intuition and four swords in reverse. Four swords in reverse is kind of like overthinking something. Maybe you're overthinking the way you look or something like that, or. I don't know, man. Too much of this shit could burn you out. Like, you know what I mean? Don't get burnt out, too. If you're going to the gym and stuff like that, don't get burnt out. This could even be, like, intuitive burnout because you can feel people's energy and stuff like that. You might have to actually block some things out. Yes. We have the Hermit and we have the Five of Swords. You might actually, because there's jealousy and envy going on here, you might have to actually shield yourself from, like, burnout. This is, like, spiritual burnout. It's giving... um Massive amounts of evil eye. It's given like people are jealous because you're on top of your shit. Whoever the heck I'm talking to right now, you have transformed and you are still transforming. Every aspect of who you are, you're transforming, you're detaching. It is shocking people. They want to know more about you. You got a lot of attention on you. People want to learn about you. They want to know about you. Don't rush the process here. Okay, you could be getting some sort. And this is because of your physical. We have the first house out here. We have physical view point of view body image okay this is you your impact your approach your first impressions this is what people see on the shell of you your avatar okay it looking real good is doing everything that it needs to do but you might this comes with some you know flack okay so you might get like i don't know people that are lusting after you as well okay burnout this is like upping your spiritual hygiene and are making sure that you're on top of your shit because, like, you have a lot of people that are looking at you. They they admire you, but they also envy you a little bit. Admiration can turn, like, love can turn into hate. It's just a really fine line. It's a very fine line. Same with admiration, okay? They admire you, but they're also envious and jealous, okay? So it's just, you know, it's given. So don't get burnt out, okay? So practice your spiritual hygiene, all right? Cleanse that shit out, you know what I'm saying? Um... You have creative abilities to get out of unwanted situations. So maybe that's an unwanted situation. People that are lusting after you and stuff like that. You're very creative. You're very, like, uh, you have, like, ingenuity. All right? You can get yourself out of, like, slippery, sticky situations, you know, without hurting nobody. Because I don't think that you're somebody who really likes. Like I said, you're meant to be seen here with this caged heart. Like, you're no longer going to be caged. There's, you know, you're not caging yourself. All right, there's a lot of people that are noticing you. Just don't rush the process and you never have to compete for somebody ever, 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 ever. You are the competition, okay? So as soon as you feel like you got to compete for someone or none of that shit, back up, back it up a step because you're burning out. You're going to burn out by wondering how you look all the time, right? Well, maybe I have to compete with somebody. I got to make sure I'm looking my top tip. Burns you out though. Why well, you got to think about all that? Yeah, fuck. You know what? Look as good as you want to look, and then you ain't got no time for any of that. You're full of soul. You shine. You outshine people, okay? Confirmation, the sun, you outshine naturally. You don't even have to do much. Sorry, you're blessed. <laughs> that's how, that's how, I mean, I'm just going to say it. You're blessed. You don't got to do much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The, no, the ones that know, they know. All right? Creative abilities to get out of unwanted situations. What is this about? Okay, Eight of Pentacles. So you've mastered this. You are a master of getting yourself out of sticky situations. <laughs> okay, we have the Hermit. Hermit, the Five of Swords. Okay, look at this. People think you're you're really good looking. Yeah, so you can dodge people. <laughs> Maybe you go out and there's all these people that want to buy you drinks or something and you're like dodging, curving, you know? You have creative abilities to get out of unwanted situations. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is. You're just really creative. You're smart. You're on the fly. You got your shit. Like, you're just, I'm sorry, but whoever you are, you're top notch. And I love it because I attract top notch people. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I was going to say something, but I ain't going to say nothing. The freaks come out at night. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Let's see what happens. All right. I like it. I like it. Like attracts like. Here we go. 
What's happening here? Okay, go beyond your limitations. These are these limiting belief systems that you're going on. Look, looking at you with admiration. See, what I say? People admire you, but it turns into a little bit of, I don't know, weirdo energy. Okay, go beyond your limitations. What's this? Too hot to handle. You guys are on fire right now. Letting go of bitterness. What's this? Blame game? People could blame you for their own insecurities. Have a little faith in me. Okay. Wants in your good graces. A pit in their stomach. Inner child. Okay. Letting go of bitterness. Maybe someone wants in your good graces because they like let go of some sort of bitterness or jealousy or something like that. <clears throat> Gets easier over time and people stare at what you wear. Okay, bro. I'm telling you, y'all be looking real good. I don't know if you guys went and got a glow up or bought a new wardrobe or you're doing something different about yourself. You look real good. Okay. People stare at what you wear. They like what you wear. Okay. People think you got a nice bum. You're curvy in all the right places, bro. You are. You are. You look real good on what you wear. It don't matter if you're curvy, bro. It's whatever, however you dress yourself, you look good. You know how to dress yourself. You know how to accentuate, you know, the right places in your body. It just, it looks really good, okay? I'm just, I'm just saying. It looks really nice. And you're shocking people. <laughs> and you have a creative way to, like, you know what? Dodge. <laughs> nah, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Go beyond your limitations. You can do anything. Eight of Pentacles. There's the Knight of Swords. So, you have a creative ability to get out of unwanted situations. Go beyond your limitations, okay? This is that night of... Okay, so this is the four, four of wands. Don't try and rush the process, especially when it comes to partnerships, you know, getting to know people and stuff like that. Don't burn yourself out trying to get to know everybody. But like night of swords is like intrusive thinking too, but it's also very witty. You're very witty. You mastered something here, okay? Quick thinking, thinking on your feet, you mastered this, okay? You can really think beyond your your limitations and you can, you're can you quick on your feet. You're very witty. You've mastered. Like, you can come out of it, like, problem solving. Boom, boom, done. I'm out. <laughs> We're good. We got this. Yeah, there's Ace of Swords, okay? Problem solver. <laughs> I got a problem here. Let me just, like, okay, got it. All you need to do is speak a few words, do a little thing, and then you're done. You're out of there. See you later. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so... Too hot to handle, though. I mean, it's coming up everywhere in your reading. Too hot to handle. There's this high priestess. Oh, my goodness. You're intuitive and it's sexy. Judgment. <laughs> okay, judgment. Also, too hot to handle came out here. Okay, so that... I think it did. No, it didn't. It was the high priestess. So the high priestess came out in the back of this. Four swords in reverse. Okay, looming burnout. Too hot to handle. Okay, High priestess came on the back side of that. So you intuitively know as well that you're not going to... This is like shielding yourself as well. And we have judgment here with the high priestess, okay? You're just... You got a lot of energy on you and spirit's doing something here, okay? With judgment, okay? They're, they're just... People can't handle how... You drive people nuts. <laughs> you drive people nuts. They could get obsessed, not going to lie. You could have some very obsessed people after you. Okay, maybe stalkers is stalkers, but I'm not giving, like, I'm not saying creepy. Okay, I don't know, man. Take it how it resonates. I fucking, some of you guys might have some stalkers. Goddamn. Or they want to, okay? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> You're too hot to handle for people, though. But judgment's happening here. Okay, spirit stepping in. All right. You just got this sexy aura, aura to you, all right? So maybe, I don't know, maybe this is like people that want to get into your good graces. They want to let go of some sort of bitterness. They got a pit in their stomach. They want to come and they want to be in your good graces here, all right? So you could be shocking past people too, all right? They could be stalking your socials, blah, 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 all right? I don't know. There's something weird spiritually going on here because of your looks. Four swords in reverse, okay, with the high priestess. It's, it's given like... um. People that need to heal, they ain't healing. <laughs> they ain't, you know? It's like you, t you bring out people's shadow, but this is just the way you look is bringing out people's shadow. Whether that be lust or envy or whatever it is, it's bringing out their darkness, which, you know, all power to you. Love it. Recognize it, but love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, recognize your own inner demons there. It's called introspection. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay. But you bring this out in people, okay? So spirit's helping you out with that. You're just sometimes, yeah, I mean, 
People get a little crazy. I don't know. Maybe at a bar, like this person that won't leave you alone, you know, and they get a little crazy. <laughs> You're just too hot to handle at the bar. Best looking one in the club. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys go to clubs or pubs or bars or like house parties or like, do you guys go out? You guys go out with your family and stuff like that? I don't know. It's given like a family event and you're like the third cousin removed or something. You guys like, you know, I don't know. Look, blame game. What are they blaming it on? I don't know. Chariot. Okay. So moving forward, queen of cups, intuitive. Okay. I mean, I don't blame nobody. This is my blaming, blaming, what do you mean, blame game? Queen of Cups, Four of Cups. Okay, so trying to rush the pro process. Maybe we're feeling a little something. I don't know. Maybe we're like, ah. You know, there, and then we have inner child here. You see how they're both wearing blue? Okay. Blue here. I know it's a male, but whatever. Blue shirt. This is the younger version. This is the older version. Okay. Inner child is right here. Okay. Blame game, chariot, you're moving forward. You're not blaming anybody for anything. You're just, you're moving forward. You're healing some sort of inner child here, okay? And there's that justice. See, four cups in reverse, letting this go. Justice, trying to rush the process. We can't, we're healing some sort of inner child dynamic right now when it comes to partners. The way you see yourself, your point of view, your outlook, your image, okay? You're healing your inner child when it comes to your image. Maybe you're bullied a lot growing up or maybe, you know, people always put you down because you look good and then they're like, they're jealous that you look good. So they're like, oh yeah, don't wear that. Even though it looks bomb, your friend is going to say, don't wear that. Even though you look good as fuck. It's like, uh, you know, inner child, but you're listening to your own voice. You're not rushing the process either. You're not about to go find someone that mirrors your parental problems. You're, you're going to heal the inner child and you're going to wait. Okay, because, you know, people just want something and it's a lot. It's going to cause burnout because all these people just are like grabbing at your energy and it's going to cause some sort of burnout. But you're you're getting spiritual support with this. OK, and you're also healing your inner child. There's something here about blame or, you know, something like that or you're healing. What's this inner child? Eight of Cups. Six of Swords, Eight of Cups. So you're walking away from something here. Look, you have creative abilities to get out of unwanted situations. Inner child. So you're using your inner child, like you're using your um, imagination and stuff like that to get yourself out of sticky situations. You're like, I'm out, okay? You're very witty, okay? You're going beyond your limitations. You're not limited. And you're not blaming your limitations on anything, okay? So you're, you're taking accountability and you're moving forward. And you're mastering something, going beyond your limitations. You're mastering some sort of creative ability to get out of situations and you're using your inner child, which is actually in turn healing your inner child, okay? Because you're using your inner child's imagination and like wittiness and like quirkiness to get yourself out of like awkward situations that you don't really want to be in. It's like, no. <laughs> have a little faith in me. What's going on here? Okay, we have the King of Swords. Okay, that's truth. And we have the Ace of Cups, love here. Okay, page. here's that Page of Swords. So someone could be lovingly watching you, this King of Swords, all right? They could be watching you. They could be wanting to have some sort of, they want you to have faith in them. I don't know. They're watching, they're watching you boss up here. This is someone who's shocked, okay? Or this is someone who's like, do we see, we have emotions here though. The King of Swords is usually emotionally detached, but we do have the emotions as the under energy of the King of Swords. So they're not like completely emotionally detached. They're just smart when it comes to their emotions. So have a little faith. Maybe this person's trying to gain some sort of emotional stability. Uh, they want in your good graces. What's this? Oh, Lord have mercy. What is that? Knight of Wands. Ooh, Queen of, Queen of Swords. And the King of Swords. And the Ace of Cups. Okay, well, this is a partnership. I want to get to know you. I want to get to know you, baby. <laughs> I want to get to know you. So we have the King and the Queen of Swords. Have a little faith and they want in your good graces. Did you cut someone out? Did you ice someone out? Because you ain't competing for nobody? Uh, no. I don't compete over here, all right? And I ain't going to be all love and light because I'm a whole soul. All right. And you got yourself out of some sort of sticky situation. I don't know. Maybe like maybe you outwitted someone. I don't know. You're just too hot for someone to handle. Maybe you get hit on a lot. Okay. 
Okay, maybe you're seeing someone or you're dating someone or someone's interested in you and you are just too hot to handle and you get a lot of attention and this person gets a lot of jealous, like this person gets jealous. This person gets jealous and insecure and they blame you or they try and blame you for their own insecurities and they jealous because you get a lot of attention. Okay, <laughs> this person wants it your good graces. Maybe you snapped on them. Maybe you're like, okay, that's not okay, bro. Get your shit together. <laughs> like that shit ain't okay, bro. <laughs> Maybe this is a friend. Maybe this is like a friend group and like you're the hot one of the friend group. But you know what I mean? And like, I mean, to each their own. That's not really a stigma. But you know what I mean? The old saying, you know, you're the hot one of the friend group. Blah, blah, blah. You know, and then other people get jealous and they want your good graces because they're like, it's like say, someone saying don't wear that because you look hot. You look too hot. So they're like, don't wear that. And you're like, all right, well, I won't wear that. So you wear something plain Jane. Doesn't matter anyway. And you and you're fire. You look fire. Hi, <laughs> you kill it anyway. <laughs> Eat that karma. That's funny. Don't try and rush the process though. All right. Have a little faith. They want your good graces. Okay. They could be trying to blame you. Well, if you didn't look like that, then you wouldn't get all this attention. Excuse me? <laughs> I can fucking look how I want to look. Excuse me? Excuse you? Or this could be a boyfriend of yours or a girlfriend. They're jealous because you get a lot of attention and they can't handle all the attention that you get. You're just way too hot to handle. Everybody thinks you got a nice body. Everybody wants to get up all in there. And it's like, I don't think they can handle it. They can't handle it. Okay? Tower. Fuck. Look at all these people trying to mooch look at communication. They're trying to be Rico Suave with this smooth talking shit. Smooth operator. <laughs> Someone has a pit in their stomach. What's this? The Knight of Cups. Okay, there's a yeah, smooth operator. They have a pit in their stomach, okay? Because look at all these people coming towards you just wanting to look butter you up. Butter you up in the most, like, it's kind of toxic. I'm not going to lie. It's toxic with the devil and the Knight of Cups. This is like giving, like, emotional manipulation, trying to get, you know, you feeling good. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But they got a pit in their stomach. Someone has a pit in their stomach. Why? Ten of Pentacles. Who has the pit? Who's this talking? Who's this uh, devil in the Knight of, maybe lots of people. There's the Five of Wands. So competition. Look at this. Ah, someone tried to put you in competition. You can't compete where you don't compare. So someone tried to put you in competition and they fucked up royally. Uh, no. <laughs> Someone's jealousy. So it, because you got a lot of attention. Okay, you get a lot of attention. Someone thought it was a smart idea to put you in competition with somebody else. And you just looked at it and said, no thanks. And you walked away. And now they have a pit in their stomach they want in your good graces because they tried to put you in competition with somebody. And you're like, no thanks. If you, last time I checked, no. <laughs> That's what you're giving. And you get all this, you get all this attention. And then this person got jealous. And then they tried to put you in competition with somebody. Now they're, they're they have a pit in their stomach. They're like, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Damn it. Now how am I going to get in the good graces? Damn it. <laughs> This is someone who really likes you, but they see you getting all this attention and then they're like, well, I get attention too. Look, <laughs> you know, he's like, bye. <laughs> all right. Letting go of bitterness and resentments. Okay. This is what you're doing or this is what this person needs to do. There's the star. Okay. So there's the, there is the emperor. Okay, look at nine of cups. What did I say about you being the nine of cups here over here with this? Okay, fool card. You're full of soul. You're a wish fulfillment to a lot of people. Four of swords here. You have a nice bum. Okay, you're very curvy. I'm sorry, but I'm talking to the feminines here. This could be a masculine. Okay, it doesn't matter. You just you look good. You're fitting where you should be fitting. Okay, everywhere you should be. You just look you look good. Okay, you're too hot to handle. You look good. You're curvy in all the right places. This emperor is letting go of bitterness and resentment. See, they're detaching. There's that detachment energy. Whoever this emperor is, okay, they're detaching from the fact maybe this is someone who is overthinking and they are burning themselves out because you are just too hot to handle and they can't handle it. They can't handle how much attention you get. <laughs> and 
They heal in them childhood issues because of it. Because you get a lot of attention. So they're healing something here, okay? They're healing the fact they're letting go of bitterness and resentments because you get a lot of attention, okay? It, nothing for them to be bitter. What you bitter about? Why you mad? <laughs> Why you mad coming up here trying to make me jealous because you jealous? That ain't how it's going to work here. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> know what I'm saying? So, you know... So now this person's detaching from bitterness and resentments and, you know, all this. They're healing that, okay? They're focusing on their inner child. They're walking away from something here, okay? They want in your good graces, Queen of Swords, okay? Go beyond your limitations. You've mastered something. You have creative abilities to get out of unwanted situation, and that was an unwanted situation. You're going to what now? You're going to try and make me jealous? What? This is what you're saying, viewer. No. You can't come up here just be, and I, it's not like you're trying to get all this attention, bro. You just get the attention. It's confirmation that you're the sun. Hello. Very bright. Last time I checked. <laughs> Full of soul, the sun and the fool. It's giving naturally charismatic. It's giving inner child. It's giving Leo. Okay. It's just giving like full of life, full of energy, big boost energy. Okay. You people feel you before they see you, and then once they see you, it's like fuck, goddamn. <laughs> you know? All right, it is what it is, and you got a friend or someone who's interested in you, or you know, I don't know what it is, you know, or a, a, a relationship that you got going on right now. You know, this is why they're acting that way. Okay, this is why they act and they just can't handle it. <laughs> and you, the boss, bitch, and boss. I'm a bitch, I'm a bitch, I'm a bitch, and a boss, and a bitch. I'm a boss, I'm a bitch, I'm a boss. You know what I'm saying? Capricorn energy, and they're watching this. Watching all of this, and it's like... <laughs> what? I told them not to wear that, and wear this, and then they wore that, and they still got all the... <laughs> you know, someone's just dealing with their own insecurities, and you're not having it. That's all this is. And now someone's got a pit in their stomach, because they're like, damn, you know, fuck... They want in your good graces, you know. They want to say sorry. You know, they're letting go of bitterness and resentments, okay. And this could be you letting go of bitterness and resentments as well towards this emperor. And look at people stare at what you wear. Yeah, I forgot we got that card. Yeah, so like people are staring at what you wear. And look, they told you not to wear this. Even though it looked bomb as shit, they told you to go wear that. So you did. This could be a friend group, you guys. And then, you know, and then you wear that and you still eat it up. <laughs> You still eat that shit. Look at that honk. Confirmation honk. Oh, yeah. Keep it coming. See? So, yeah. People stare at what you wear. That's so funny. What's this? Five of cups in reverse. Yeah, no regrets. <laughs> justice. You can't rush this process. Look at this justice. Five of cups in reverse. Yeah, no. I ain't going to be sad. I ain't going to be sad. I wore this. I still look good. I still look good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah damn so you just have some sort of jealous friend or whatever a partner a friend who wants to be your partner or just this is a current partner or this is like an ex or something you know what i'm saying it is what it is but that's what we got for today so if that resonated with you guys hit that motherfucking like button don't forget to subscribe to the vibe tribe and i will see you guys down below in the comment section bye Yo, man. Okay, now bye. <laughs>